hepatitis C virus is a major cause of chronic hepatitis, liver cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. The virus is transmitted mainly through blood and reaches the liver via the bloodstream. The virus circulates as a so-called lipoviral particle associated with components of low density and very low density lipoproteins. The viral envelope glycoproteins are localized on the surface whereas the nucleocapsid is located within the hydrophobic interior of the lipoviral particle. The nucleocapsid is formed of core proteins interacting with the viral RNA genome. Once the viral particle reaches the hepatocyte surface, it interacts first with glycosaminoglycans and syndecans, followed by binding to more specific receptors, including the scavenger receptor B1 and the tetraspanin protein CD81. The viral particle, complexed with these entry factors, reaches tight junctions and engages in further interactions with claudin-1 and occludin. The viral particle subsequently enters the cell via receptor and clatrin-mediated endocytosis. After its release into the cytosol, the clattering-coated vesicle interacts with the motor protein dynein. Dynein transports the vesicle by walking along microtubules to reach the endoplasmic reticulum area. Acidification of the endosome lumen induces conformational changes of the viral envelope glycoproteins, which in turn interact with the endosomal membrane, leading to fusion of the viral and endosomal membranes. Membrane fusion is followed by uncoating of the nucleocapsid and the release of the viral RNA genome into the cytosol. Binding and assembly of ribosome subunits on the viral RNA is the starting point of HCV polyprotein translation. A signal sequence located in the beginning of the translated polyprotein allows the ribosome to be targeted to the translocon on the endoplasmic reticulum membrane. Translation can thereby proceed further, giving rise to a polyprotein which is cleaved by cellular signal peptidases and by the viral proteases into 10 mature proteins. The structural proteins which make up the viral particle comprise core and the envelope glycoproteins E1 and E2. P7 and NS2 support viral particle production while not being incorporated into the particle. The replicase components NS34A, NS4B, NS5A and NS5B are sufficient to support viral RNA replication. HCV replicase proteins, in concert with host factors, induce rearrangements of the ER membrane, including the formation of double membrane vesicles. These vesicles cluster to form the membranous web, which represents the site of HCV RNA replication. Viral RNA synthesis is catalyzed by the RNA-dependent RNA polymerase activity of NS5B, which acts in concert with other viral non-structural proteins, as well as several host factors. After synthesis of a negative strand RNA intermediate, Multiple positive strand progeny RNAs are generated from this template and either used for translation and replication or packaged into nucleocapsid particles. The latter process is thought to be initiated on the surface of lipid droplets that are targeted by the core protein. 
it is assumed that a network of NS5A delivers the viral RNA to core proteins for assembly into nucleocapsids. Nucleocapsids form at ER-derived membranes where E1 and E2 accumulate in conjunction with P7, NS2 and host factors including apolipoprotein E. The viral envelope glycoproteins are acquired by budding, a process which appears to be linked to the very low density lipoprotein machinery. Newly synthesized virus particles are thought to be transported to the cell surface in export vesicles via the cellular secretory pathway. Finally, they are released from the cell by exocytosis to reach the bloodstream.